Hi, Steve Norton, an anxiety specialist here. And what I'm going to talk about today is health anxiety, what it is and how you can change it. First thing to understand about health anxiety is it is an obsession. It is from the OCD family. And how it starts is when that person has some sort of illness or discomfort, some sort of sensation in the body, and rather than just passing it off as that sensation or I'm not feeling very well, that person then starts to dig. They start digging online, they go into Google, and before they know it, they then start believing that they've got cancer or some other serious illness like that. And what then happens is the spiral into decline. When that person then starts to worry to the point where the symptoms get even worse. And then they end up going to see the doctor. The doctor gives them a thorough examination. It's a decent doctor. And it generally comes back and it says, look, you've um, got nothing wrong with you. And that, that person goes home feeling a little bit of relief from that. But only temporarily because they then start going online and start looking at medical misdiagnoses, people who have been told by doctors that they're fine and they turned out they haven't been fine. They instantly start believing that maybe the doctor got it wrong and they'll start digging even further on Google. And that becomes an absolute obsession with the person actually makes themselves ill and exacerbates any symptom by the very fact that, that they are focusing so much on that symptom they can almost create new symptoms and new sensations because what they're really doing is asking their mind to almost like reproduce how a more serious symptom might feel so that person then spirals into even worse anxiety levels because they then start researching even further they start disbelieving their own doctor and they start going for private checks if they can afford it nothing ever satisfies them though it doesn't matter who tells them i've had clients who've literally spent thousands of pounds going to see different doctors doctors from harley street you name it all over the all over the world getting checked out and Whenever a doctor says to them and says, look, you're perfectly fine, it only ever seems to have like a very, very short-lived effect on that person. And then the very next day, they start going back onto Google again, going on forums, almost convincing themselves that there really is something wrong with them. And at this point, it becomes really difficult for anyone that's with these people, living with them, partners, and it just gets a little bit out of control so no amount of evidence will ever help the anxiety sufferer if they believe they've got some sort of health ailment no amount of professionals telling them that they're okay and i have actually seen people who've genuinely made themselves ill with health anxiety who've actually made symptoms appear probably due to the fact that they've got that much adrenaline and cortisol flying on their bodies that they end up getting real genuine stomach problems and acid problems um, palpitations of the heart so that's pretty much what health anxiety is it is an obsession it is an obsessional behavior um, it used to be called hypochondria years ago years ago but these days it's known more as health anxiety but the question you might be wondering is is there anything you can do about it well absolutely Yes, there is. The first thing you need to do is understand that you've got this obsession, that it is not an illness. What you've got, you've actually got an obsession, an OCD style obsession. Now, the only way we can break this is by, first of all, stop going on Google. Stop Googling symptoms. And you must start changing your focus away from your health because the more you start to focus on it, the more you're asking your body to create sensations and refocus yourself on something else now it can be quite stubborn to remove um, i probably work with about 30 percent of my clients that have health anxiety and they are quite stubborn to work with at times not because they're you know argumentative but you know 
the, the pull, if you like, of health anxiety is quite strong. And like I said, they're not looking for evidence that they haven't got it. They're looking for evidence that they do have it. And when you understand how compulsions are, then you're able to treat it. So my, my probably best advice for you would be to actually get some professional help from someone like myself who can, who specializes in removing health anxiety. And yes, it does. It takes some effort to do it. It's, it's quite a stubborn little bugger to get rid of health anxiety, but you can do it. And one of the reasons people choose me is because I use a, a technique called thought retraining. And what thought retraining does, it is a technique of how to stop and block the thoughts that cause the health anxiety in the first place. And if you practice the health anxiety uh, protocol, which is what I teach to my clients, you can generally get rid of health anxiety pretty quick. But like everything in life, it does have to be worked at. It needs to be practiced. So it isn't something that has to be with you all the time. It is something that you can reverse, reverse the obsession with the right help. So if you'd like to know any more about that, you can either get in touch with me or you can actually help with the health anxiety on my new rapid anxiety elimination program. And that will give you the full step-by-step -step guide of how to remove health anxiety. So I hope that helps and I hope that gives you a little bit of hope that it doesn't have to be a permanent thing. And what you I'll be putting more videos on about this subject matter coming up. So hit that subscribe button so that you never miss one of my videos. And if there's anything you want to ask me, look at the links below, send me a message and we can get talking. So I hope that makes sense and thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.